finally with the most awaited video and with the most requested video by all of you guys I'm here today to tell you how can you create a perfectly asymmetrically balanced design. I already made a video about asymmetrically balanced designs. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, go watch that video because it's super useful. And by the way, here we are with the sequel and I'm gonna show you the entire process for a full landing page. So with some tips and tricks, how to place the content and everything else, this is the final result. It's super minimal, but it has some tricky parts uh, with some tips and tricks uh, and uh, fundamental concepts that I wanna show you. Let's jump right into it. This is our our starting point guys uh, I don't want to show you the process of how I achieved this design because there's nothing to do with the topic of our video today so I'm gonna leave it as it is and we move forward with the next section of the website for the page I want to have four sections and the footer latest collection man woman kid I have to figure out if I want to create a dedicated section or if I want to create just a menu we'll figure it out a collaboration section where I put all the collaborations with other brands another one to list all the fabrics used by the brand and finally the footer which is not a section but we need a footer the second section we just add uh, another 1080 by the way just to create the design uh, i'm gonna use uh, the same Im image uh, all over the places where i want to put some images later first of all we need at least one image or multiple image we can create uh, just a carousel or a gallery uh, to showcase uh, all the clothes in the latest collection i think that right now we can put it right here and then we remove these images later a call to action and i want to use the same font font size uh, and the same thickness let's cover the latest collection we can use uh, something like that and i want to add uh, one arrow to just add the rest now what we need is a small paragraph to briefly describe uh, the latest collection we have the content now it's just a matter of placing it in the right position one thing that i already want to say is that i don't want to have a carousel because uh, every single website has a carousel or a gallery to showcase their clothes so i want to get rid of it now what i want to do is i want to create a composition with this content right here and maybe I want to add the, the date and the year I want to use the bold text for uh, on just for the call to actions so first thing is that if you want to create an asymmetrically but basically if you want to create any kind of design just add a grid system because it helps you a lot with the consistency and with the flow of the website I've just created a 13 columns grid and if you don't know how to do it you basically click the frame here in Figma you go on layout grid and you click the plus icon and then you can change all the settings for the grid system now i think that i'm going to move the 2023 at the edge edge aligned with the image and i'm gonna put this paragraph right here just above the call to action so we have all the informations uh, arrive in the left side of the page but as you can see here is the first problem uh, with that we are creating a lot of con we are putting a lot of content in the left side of the page and the, the right side is completely empty so if you land on the page uh, this is completely unbalanced here to balance the composition i want to add some elements and we don't necessarily need to uh, add some other images or another big image but we can create a composition that create a bigger shape than the elements themselves i don't know if that makes sense any sense but let me show you what I mean visually here we have uh, a bigger rectangle we don't have uh, separate elements uh, but we have uh, a bigger shape uh, created by the text uh, the paragraph uh, the call to action and the image for instance in this situation we don't perceive the elements uh, as single elements by themselves but we perceive this composition as one single shape as one single rectangle so what you do when you put elements together you create bigger shapes for instance here if i try to put the same the exact same image on the right side of the page we can see that the situation is a bit better of course but the design is still unbalanced towards the left side because we have this bigger shape created by all these elements so one way that we can try is to add some call to actions actually i want to add the men woman and kid call to actions so let's just add them now i want to distract the user attention from the left side towards the right side of the pages and then we can create some flow inside the page and i want to use these call to actions maybe adding some small images as i said Guys, we are going to use the same image over and over and we're gonna replace it something like that I'm happy with it and I'm gonna align it of course in the grid system at this point I want to add another 1080 to the entire frame just to have another section to work with and here the flow of the website is going from the left side of the page towards the right side and to do to that I want to add some content again on the right side to continue that flow because as the user scrolls down first it is going to see the left side 
set of the page so the count this counter right here and then it scrolls down again and uh, he's going to see the right side of the page in this third section uh, i would love to show the fabrics used by the brand because i think that is one of the most important things uh, and one of the core elements uh, of this brand what we can add is uh, a small description uh, something like that and i want to align it of course in the grid system so far so good and now i want to add of course uh, the fabrics now that's a trick uh, that you should memorize instantly because every time that you add an element uh, or some elements into your designs so keep in mind guys that you need to add details for example here it's okay to add network cotton cashmere jeans it's okay but if you want to create some details into this design we can add 100% of natural cotton 100% cashmere and so on and so forth and then another thing that we can do is to add a plus icon keep in mind that adding small parts like that really change the perception of the design and elevate your design to another level so like that should be perfect you can see the difference between the two ways of displaying the content I want to add another image to show the best clothes for each category each material something like that but I can already say that this layout doesn't work really well because there is no proper flow so I want to change maybe make the image a bit bigger and change and move the call to actions I think that this layout is way better it creates some flows in, the, in this section right here so we come from the top we see the text the image and then the call to actions but if we take a look at just this section we can see that this design is a little bit unbalanced at this composition because we have all the content towards the right side of the page so of course uh, we need to add something to the left and here i want to show you that to balance uh, uh, even a big composition uh, you can add just one small element this small element makes a huge difference in the look and feel of this section now that the user attention is on the left side of the page again we are going to add some elements in the next section in the left side of the page and here i want to show the brand's biggest collaborations with other brands we already said that we want to add some elements the initial elements for this section in the left side because the user attention is going to be right here just two words i don't know what am i writing so something like that should be good and now we can start thinking about the counter for this section first of all of course we need an image because we want to show to the user a preview of the collaborations maybe the logo of the brands or something like that i also want the names of the biggest brands and i want to have the call to action to basically redirect the user to the page to buy the product let's add maybe let's add, i don't I want to have a call to action written call to action but i want to have maybe a shape align everything in the grid system as you can see again guys uh, this uh, this is a pretty normal layout it's not particularly enough it's not detailed so let's add some details first of all i want to add this thing right here so it's okay to add these brackets but you can personalize everything even more so for example here instead of using a regular thickness so we can use the bold one we are adding the Layers and layers to the design and everything looks better guys these are the smooth things that differentiate you from a beginner and i'm happy with that but again i can see that is unbalanced because we have everything towards the left side and to create some flow i want to move this code to action on the right side but as you can see the user is going to be confused by these things because for example let's say i want to click on prada i have to go with the mouse follow the line and go on the circle so i want to create a, an actual <laughs> line this is a little bit too empty so maybe we can add for example the year of the collaboration but to make everything even more particular and want to move these circles at the edge almost at the edge of the page and maybe make this longer so far so good guys <laughs> i'm pretty happy with that and we move on with the footer for the footer everything is easier we don't have to make a, a, anything complicated super complicated but we need to think about balancing the footer and to and placing the right content in the right position and keep in mind to place the content in the grid system the first step for the footer is of course to create some separation between the actual page and the footer 
Then we need to add a little or the call to action for social media or maybe the address of the brand, etc. I want to add the same style of this call to action right here so we can add details in the footer too. Now at this point we have a huge cap in the middle of the footer and the footer is not unbalanced just due to the fact that we, here we have three groups of call to actions on the right side we have two but we need to pay attention to the amount of call to actions that we have in every single group and the weight of the group visually speaking. I want to move the biggest group right in the middle of the footer and this smaller one I want to move it near to the middle. So now we are following the grid system because we have aligned everything in the columns. We have the home page, groups in the middle, groups in the right and we are creating a certain balance in the footer. You can place the content in whatever position you want. The important thing is that you remember and you think about the weight, visually speaking, the weight of every single group of content, every call to action, every single element. In a symmetrical balance, the crucial part is the visual perception that you get from the design. Last thing, I want to remove the background and maybe add a line to separate the footer from the rest of the page. And I think that this perfectly works. By the way, last touch, I want to add a join our newsletter call to action because uh, why not position in the middle and here we have our full landing page so as you can see the design is nothing super fancy but even in something that minimal and uh, fairly simple you need to pay attention to a lot of things and that is why a symmetrical balance is really hard to achieve and you need a lot of practice so that is all for me guys let me in the comments down below if you want to see the animation part of this landing page if you found this video helpful smash the like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video